it's Natalie. Welcome back to Plantish. I just got some plant mail today and I wanted to do an unboxing and share everything with you guys. I love watching plant mail unboxings and filming them for you because buying plants online is a little sketchy. You have to deal with shipping, plants are delicate. So I always like to see how companies ship their plants and how they arrive. This is from the Plant Club. Like I said, just got it today about 30 minutes ago. Wanted to open up and share everything with you guys. Spring is well upon us, you guys. My plants have been growing like crazy. I don't know about you. Hopefully your plants are doing really well. I missed you guys. I haven't made plant content in a while. As you can see, we're in the middle of moving. So things have been kind of chaotic and filming really hasn't been my top priority, but I miss you and I miss making plant content and videos. I have so much stuff to share with you. So, dun, dun, dun. I didn't cut it enough, this tape. <laughs> yes. Yes. Already excited. This is from the Plant Club, variety number 51 comes with this. So this tells you all about your plant. I got a calathea. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. I feel like I always butcher it. Orbifolia, is that how you say it? I hope so. I actually have one of these. She's being a typical calathea, so she has some crispy leaves per usual. But I'm excited to get another one. I can't wait to see what it looks like, especially because calatheas are more sensitive. So we'll see how it held up during shipping. Tells me potting instructions, what comes inside. It comes with the plant pebbles, plant tag kit, modern classic pot, premium soil blend, cork plant mat. It's cool that it comes with everything included. It gives you care instructions about your plant and also little fun facts. All right, so next we have, this box here, it's pretty heavy. I'm assuming this is all of the plant, plant material. Cute, and some goodies. Oh, my plant tagging kit. It's like write the name of the plant and it has its own little personalized identification tag. Oh, I think this might be the little cork mat. That's like what I put my plant on. This box is heavy. Oh, stones. All right, anything else? Nope. Let's check out our plant, guys. Here's my plant. Let's take this rubber band off here. It is really beautiful. Check it out, you guys. really excited. Can you tell? Can you tell how excited I am? She has a little dirt on her, but very healthy and very beautiful. This is a more sensitive plant as most calatheas are. I actually have one of these. She has some brown spots being a typical calathea. That's just how they are. I feel like has some new growth here. Let's see what else we got. Oh, here's the soil. And our pot. What a cool idea that it comes with um, everything to pot your plant and get it ready. So this pot does not have drainage holes. I'm a little bit confused. Um, oh, maybe that's what the rocks are for. So in some pots that don't have drainage holes, you can place rocks at the bottom then the soil on top and then your plant. So that way there is a space between the bottom of the pot and the soil where the rocks are, where the water can drain through. Well, let me read my instructions here. Let's see. So the instructions say fill container about one third form. 
So the instructions say to fill one third of the container with soil, remove the plant from the gardening box and place a new container, fill voids with soil, compressing it to get rid of air pockets, add pebble, topper and plant tag. So it is recommending that these pretty rocks they sent us here go on top of the plant, but I just cannot plant this without a drainage hole. Proper drainage is really important to plants. If you're a plant parent, chances are you've probably experienced overwatering and what can happen, it is tragic. Overwatering will kill your whole plant or it could if you don't catch it right away. So I definitely want there to be a hole in this pot before I put my plant in. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if that was on purpose or mistake. I'm gonna go put a hole in it, I'll be right back. Root check. Let's see how the roots are in this guy. Ooh, healthy, looking good. See the roots here, guys? All right, let's get this little guy into his new home. Put our decorative rocks on top and I'm going to place this guy in the sink and rinse him off. He has some dirt on the leaves. What a great idea. I love the pot and the soil and the rocks and the soil smells really good too. I love the smell of soil, most soils. I feel like when you work with plants a lot, you just get so used to the smell. It like just reminds me of my plants and that makes me happy. Okay. I don't know if I want to put all the rocks in here or not. Can't afford. Okay. I like it. She's finished. So I named this plant Stella. She's fabulous. I'm going to rinse her off. These prefer high humidity areas, also indirect medium light. Too much light will burn their leaves. So I'm gonna find the right place for her and put her away. I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you in my next video. Bye everybody.